Okay, dearly beloved, we are gathered here for the pettiness that is the Hallmark Channel, honey. All right, if you guys have been watching my updates for the last, I don't know, eight months or so, I gave you guys the piping hot tea about how Bill Abbott, the ex-CEO of Hallmark, as in the Hallmark Channel, how he left abruptly summer 2021 because he did not support Hallmark's new inclusive mission of including the LGBTQ community, blacks, gays, Hispanics, Jewish people. Bill was like, no. Well, Bill took some of his stars with him and one of them was CCB, Candace Cameron Bure, baby. And after he rolled her out, she took some other stars like Jen Lilly and the rest of them, you know, they're not even important. So, you know, Danica, Danica, Michaela, you know, those people, I, your, your names barely roll off my tongue. But anyway, while CCB had been hailed as the Queen of Christmas when she was starring in Hallmark movies, the rest of us were trying to figure out, is it the chicken or the egg? Did Hallmark make CCB who she is? I mean, we know she was part of the Full House franchise, but baby, she really took off with Hallmark. Or did CCB put Hallmark on the map for Christmas movies? Now, let me just tell you, Christmas 2022 was a hit. Countdown to Christmas. I reviewed all of those movies. It was some of the best Christmas movies I have seen Hallmark really come up with in 15 years. It was good consistency. And so we see people like um, Tyler Hines, Lacey Chabert. We see people like Andrew Walker. All these other stars coming forward and they are killing these Hallmark movies and we're over here thinking CCB who? And these people are all about equality. So now, over on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel, because y'all know I watch both, CCB was the lead actress in the Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries. Okay, she played Aurora Tea Garden herself. Now, I'm not going to lie. Those mysteries were fly. It's actually the best writing I've ever seen of any of the Hallmark movies and mysteries. Um, mysteries. I'm going to be honest. So the Aurora Tea Garden franchise, I tried not to like it, but I loved it. And the problem is, is it the chicken or the egg? Do we need Candace or do we not need Candace? Well, baby, if you was waiting, Hallmark had the answer. This past Friday, the Aurora Tea Garden Franchise continued, baby, and let's talk about the continuation, okay? So, when Hallmark announced that Aurora Tea Garden, they're going to do a prequel where it's going to be a young Aurora played by Skylar Samuels, I was like, okay, it's going to be a new franchise and it's a prequel. Baby, no, it wasn't. So, we left off with Candace Cameron Bure and Lexa playing Aurora and Sally, right? And the last episode was called Haunted by Murder. It was season one, episode 18. Baby, when Hallmark picked up with the new Aurora series, they did what the soap operas do. And later that day, so basically episode 19 was the episode that just premiered this past Friday night on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel. That one was titled Something New. And yes, baby, it was uh, episode 19 of season one of the Aurora Tea Garden. So basically, somebody at Hallmark put the pet P and Petty and decided, uh-uh, we're not going to start back at one. We're letting Candace Cameron Bure know that we're going to continue as if she never existed. Baby, you know I had to tune in and I had to give you this piping hot tea. I wanted to be all makeup for y'all and glam, but I said forget it. I want to get this out before this uh, mysteries premieres again tonight because you know on Sundays they will replace, replace stuff, right? Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get into it, the new and the old, what was good, what was not good. First of all, I'm going to say that the Aurora Tea Garden franchise is actually built off of exquisite mystery writing. I don't think that CCB is a star that everybody made her out to be. I thought Skylar Samuels really killed it in this series. As a matter of fact, I am giving something new, which is season one, episode 19, a 9 out of 10 for its premiere. It's the best mysteries that's come out in 2023 so far. And... As 
you've heard that Hallmark Movies and Mysteries is not doing well as a channel, I would actually bet that this new series of Aurora Tea Garden movies is actually going to put Hallmark Movies and Mysteries back on the map because some of us are messy and we just like to tune into messy things just to spite people. Those of us who believe in equality and inclusion are going to tune in. Even Megan's going to tune in to something new, baby. And she never watched the, fir the first 18 episodes like I did of Aurora Tea Garden, baby. But she's going to go ahead and watch that episode 19 because she's ready for something new as many of us are okay writing wise I think it's the same writers for the Aurora Tea Garden franchise for the first 18 episodes it had me on edge it was answering some questions that I had in the first 18 episodes for example the relationship between uh, Arthur and Aurora they always allude to the fact that they are now friends but they used to be romantic what was the scoop with that well, now that we're getting something new, we're getting to go back in time and really see how Aurora and Arthur came to be. And right now, they're still friends, but you can definitely see the romantic interest. Okay? So, I love that. I thought Skylar did an amazing job. I thought Evan playing Arthur, I thought he was really cute to be playing young Arthur. And if you remember, we've seen Evan in, I think it was like Autumn in New York, with Amy T. Garden who I really thought should have taken over the Aurora Tea Garden franchise since her name is Tea Garden. That's already her last name in real life. But somebody at Hallmark decided we're going to go for a younger version. And the only changes that really didn't happen is there is a young Sally. There is a young Aurora. There's a young author. But they kept Mary Lou Henner as Aida Tea Garden, and I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but I love Mary Lou so much. Girl, get your coins and make your money, because I enjoyed seeing you in this series. I thought the movie was amazing. We see that young Sally is about to get married, and we're like, hold up, wait up. In present day, Sally's not married. So I was really kind of confused. And then, honey, you find out that her fiance, Matt, is into all this craziness. Okay, but I'm going to go back because I will do the review just for the Aurora Tea Garden Something New episode right behind this one. But let me just get into this. If you remember, Season 1, Episode 18 left off with Sally and Aurora um, reigniting a murder investigation for a haunted house where they found a body as children. So, young Aurora and young Sally find a body in this house and the mystery was never solved like what happened to the family okay what exactly happened in that house so now the mystery has been reunited but guess who played young aurora and young sally in that episode candace cameron beret's daughter and lecture donge daughter okay i don't know if i said her right her last name right but anyway the biological daughters of candace and Lexa actually played young Aurora and young um, Sally. So it's so interesting that season one, episode 19, titled Something New, now has us picking up with young Aurora, only it's Skylar Samuels playing this. I don't know if the universe is giving CCB the middle finger or if it was just beautiful comedic timing of how this is all playing out because the fact that episode 18 goes back in time to a young Sally and a young Aurora and now episode 19 we see that we're going to get a bit of a prequel and get the background of how young Aurora got into her sleuthing ways this is just fabulous I mean if you guys are not watching the new Aurora Tea Garden you need to be tuning in and let Cameron's Cameron Bure now, she was not the star, the writers, the actors of that series, because I thought it was damn good and I gave it a 9 out of 10. Okay, right behind this is going to be the review for the actual episode because I just didn't want to mix everything. And I'm so glad TikTok's giving me 10 minutes to do this because this tea was so piping hot. I don't want to be doing it in threes and threes and threes. All right, stay tuned for the actual review for the brand new episode, the prequel, a.k.a. episode 19 of season one of Aurora Tea Garden. Whoever who's at Hallmark that's so petty, y'all must be a Gemini. I love it.